excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? KMB, the 16th Ninja, in the place to be for C Plus Studios, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. It is fueled. It is powered. You will acknowledge crazyhoodies.com, all designs by the almighty Big Daddy. And if you subscribe to the C Plus Studios feed, you get the New World Podcast, the Big Daddy Forever Podcast. You get the Sexy Ninja Cast. You also get, also, you also get the Social Vent Podcast. Go check out the one we just dropped. It's a fantastic episode, so go check it out. All right, we're going to dive right on it. Friday Night Smackdown, baby, in Indianapolis at the Game Bridge Fieldhouse. What a way to start the show. The New Day versus the Usos for the Universal Undisputed Tag Team Champions. Chips, you know, great match, man. Two, two of the best in the business, man. A legendary feud that's been going on for so long. And it, it and the Usos take the win. I was thinking of the legacy of the Usos. I was thinking of the legacy of uh, the New Day. And how they just had some bangers. Some bangers, bro. This one was this crazy hot tag. That it was just like, oh, no, no oh, could New Day win? Could New Day win? No, but the Usos are going to go on. And Roman was watching with uh, Paul and Solo in the back, making sure that the legacy of the bloodline continues. And it did. And the celebration in the back, Roman got up and says, yeah, this is it, man. We, this is what it feels like to be the GOAT. You got to keep that momentum, though. Because tonight we're going to handle some business. Some business. Then... We went right into the SmackDown World Cup. I was like, and they showed the trophy. I was like, you need to get a new trophy guy. I don't know why. You're, the, the trophies all just seem to look the same at this point. And I, I was like, what is the SmackDown World Cup? What is the point of the SmackDown World Cup? So we're getting all these wrestlers who are from different countries um, representing, you know, and... It was just one of those things where I was just like, "What? What is this? What? What's the? What's the importance of this World Cup?" Cole then says, "It's whoever wins this this you know this World Cup here, they get to face um, uh, Gunther for the Intercontinental Title." I was like, "Oh, then why can't we just have a tournament to <laughs> to uh, we're having a tournament essentially?" But I don't think you need to do the SmackDown World Cup. I I just think you could have just done like we're doing a big. A big uh, tournament to see who will face uh, Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. That makes much more sense to me than a SmackDown World Cup. I don't need SmackDown World Cups. I just want some action. And that's what I got with this one. And the first round was Shinsuke Nakamura. I miss Rick Boogs. Versus Santos Escobar. It was an okay match. Uh, Santos won. Um... I, I, I'm definitely, it, it wasn't a banger. It was okay. It was, it was something that I could put on and walk away, come back and check, man. I, I want Shinsuke to get back, though, on the wave. He needs to get to that title. Like, he needs, he needs to be main eventing because he's Shinsuke Nakamura. That's right. Then th this was a bit head-scratching for me. So L.A. Knight's cutting a promo in the back. He's being very L.A. Knight-ish. And Bray Wyatt appears, talking about, I see the anger in you, you see the anger in me, talking real low, and all this stuff, and I'm just like, so this is the first, this is the, this is the first opponent for Bray Wyatt. The big Bray Wyatt return, the teasing, the teasing, the constant promos in the ring, talking about his feelings and being the real Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. You're telling me all of this built up to L.A. Knight versus Bray Wyatt? A feud with L.A. Knight. Okay. <laughs> At least we're getting somewhere. Because I was like, I, I was like, I, I want to know what, where are we going with Bray? He's at Crown Jewel. Okay. He sees Uncle Howdy. He shows him actually watching the video. Okay. L.A. Knight, though? 
We might get some bangers. We might not get some bangers. So, I I don't know. What do you think? Put those comments below. What do you think of LA Knight versus Bray Wyatt? Bray's big return to start a feud with LA Knight. I don't know. Well, I bet you a dollar this is going to be at Survivor Series. Uh, Because uh, now we're building to Survivor Series. That's here in a couple weeks on the 26th. And I think this will be Bray Wyatt's big return back into the ring. And it'll be with somebody like LA Knight. Started them all small, then we get, build our way to the top. Okay. We had a six-pack number one contenders match for whoever wins will face Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series for the SmackDown Women's, almost a tag team, Women's Championship. We had Shotzi, Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan, Sonya Deville, uh, Lacey Evans, a little spicy Lacey Evans is like, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be making everybody happy no more because I'm Lacey Evans and I'm a champion and I'm a, I was a soldier and I'm going to do me because I'm Lacey Evans. Okay, Lacey, sit down because you didn't win this match. Guess who won? Shotzi. We're going to have Shotzi versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship at Survivor Series. Yes, please. Here's my money. Take it, Peacock. Just take that money. First put your finger in my butt, then take that money, Peacock, because now we're going to see Shotzi versus Ronda Rousey. There was a great backstage interaction where um, Shayna Baszler's like, you know, you know, you, you talk all this smack, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you say it to her face, huh? Why don't you say it to Ronda's face? Well, why don't you turn around? And then she turns around and she gets choked out. And Ronda Rousey did this buzz. What do you say? What did you say? I, I, I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm not hearing what you're saying. I'm not hearing what you're saying. And Shayna chokes out Shotzi. That was awesome. <laughs> that, that, I was just like, okay. Now in two weeks, we're going to see these two take on each other. Um, now more of the SmackDown World Cup. Another round one. Braun Strowman went against Jinder Mahal, who was out there beforehand. And he's like, I was like, oh, Jinder. Long nipple man. Where have you been? You know? Like, <laughs> he just came out of nowhere for this SmackDown World Cup. But guess who won? Surprise, surprise. It ain't gender. It's Braun Strowman. And I don't know. <laughs> Them standing by the, the trophy, I'm like, we really need to get a new trophy guy. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So now the big one for tonight. The big, the big, big one. It was going to be B-Fab versus uh, Zelina Vega. But no. No, 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 no. Hit Row comes out. Um... Zelina's got her posse and everything like that. They're, they're, about to, they're about to get the bell ring. And the Viking Raiders with Sarah Logan looking like a million bucks. Oh, my goodness. I, I got chills. Chills. Seeing them in that ring and just seeing Sarah Logan with the makeup on her, the black makeup and everything like that. I'm like, she looks awesome. I think she had makeup on her feet, too, because she's not wearing any boots. But, man, she looked vicious. She looked mean. <sighs> now, the, the tag team division in the men's department is building. Now I can't wait to see. Maybe these guys are going to be the ones that are going to dethrone the Usos. And the Viking Raiders will be the ones. Yes. Now we get to the bloodline. We're ending the show on a high note. Roman says, acknowledge me, Indianapolis. Acknowledge. Roman's talking, he's, you know, he got, I got to address some stuff. You know, he being wise man says some wise words. That's besides the point. The brawling brutes come out. Yes, the brawling brutes. Not only the brawling brutes, but Seamus. Seamus is back. But the bad thing about this was his mic kept cutting in and out. But Roman was great by being like, oh, what are you trying to say? You can't even get your mic to work. I'm like, yes, Roman. That's what you do, Roman. That's, that's some good shit right there. You know, poor, poor Sheamus couldn't get off what he needed to say. But it was a fight. Nonetheless, they started brawling. The numbers game was gaining up on them. And guess who comes out? Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre comes out. So I'm guessing... We're going to have the bloodline versus these guys. 
Page, the Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre. They just need one more member. And the Bloodline just needs Sami Zayn to come back. And I'm thinking this is going to be a War Games match at Survivor Series. And every time I see the commercial, I'm like, I can't wait. It's going to be the best birthday present ever, even though it's two days after my birthday, my birth week, my birth month. I'm excited. I am excited. This this was a very fun SmackDown. I give it a solid four out of ten. Um, out of ten, out of five. I'm out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Four out of five. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Tell me what you thought. What did you think of them ending the show that way? Oh, yeah. My side notes. Ricochet versus Mustafa Ali next week. That that that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Very high fly, back and forth, fast paced match with a lot of great spots. But ending it with the bloodline, the bra- them brawling, and then that's it. That's it. We're going home. Take it home, baby. We're building the Survivor Series, and if there's gonna be a War Games match, bring it on. What was your highs? What was your lows? What was your loves? What was your hates? What was the things that made you go, yes, this is why I love professional wrestling and the WWE. Four out of five. Drop your comments below. And after that, like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And remember, the new world podcast is for life. How far I'm willing to go Ain't any of your damn business, but how far you're willing to go should be back to your little romper room, play with your little puppets, stick them anywhere that gives you pleasure. It's okay with me. But at the end of the day, if nobody asked you, (laughs) whose game is it?